Hmm. How's it going, guys? Ghostface Fanatic here with another video. In this video, I'll be talking about Steve Mocker and the fact that Scream 5 kind of set his uh, return up. Um, that being said, let's get to the video. Now, people think that Stu will not return in any capacity, but if you really read between the lines, I really do think that he will return. And if he doesn't return, well, then I guess I'm wrong. But I feel like that that's what they're going for, man. Because in Scream 5, if you guys know, that Dewey got killed, right? And I explained how it wasn't Amber and it obviously wasn't Richie, right? Um, And I said that it possibly could have been Stu. Now, you got to read between the lines. Especially in the beginning scene where, you know, Amber was in the in his house or whatever. And that's where she lived. But if you think about it, right? He was recording her. He was recording Amber while she was doing her hair. While he was talking to Tara. And then Richie, if Richie was with Sam, uh, what's to say that he was? Um, well, then who, who was, you know, who was the person that was, uh, who did the, who was that that did the attack? You know, I mean, it's, it's kind of far-fetched that it was Richie. It's kind of far-fetched that it was Amber because Amber was not even around, you know, even around. So it doesn't even make any sense. Now... People may say, well, we all I know is that the, these guys are, these two killers, these people, these killers are going to be killers in Scream 6. I guarantee it's good, there's going to be like a mastermind eventually in Scream uh, 7. And they're leading up to it. That's what I feel like anyways. Um, But Stu, the fact that, that Amber supposedly killed Dewey, that's not, that's unrealistic to me. I just do not think that Amber killed Dewey. I just don't. If you guys know that. And I'm on the Stu train for sure. I just don't think that, you know, I think that, you know, Stu, he had survived the TV and he faked his own death. And his family, <clears throat> and his family hit his records so that, you know, that nobody would know, you know, if he's alive or not. Which is why nobody mentions him. You know? Because nobody knows that he's still alive. And when he does come back, it's going to be a shock. You know? To them. Because that's what happens when you fake your death. You, you, you know, you can change your identity and everything. So, the fact that they're naming that the Scream 6 is going to be called Blackamore... People are speculating and saying, well, that's going to be Tara's dad's last name. But you got to take it to account also that it could be actually Stu's new identity name. Yes, guys. Blackamore could be Stu's, like, last, like, his, basically, like, his, like, his uh, new name or whatever. Like, he changed his identity or something. And he could have changed his name to Blackmore. I don't know, man. But it seems like that's where they're going with it. Uh, that they're going to, you know, he's going to return some capacity in Scream 7. Because I know it's not going to happen in Scream 6. But I know for sure what happened in Scream 7. Without a shadow of a, of a doubt, guys. I mean, Scream 7 is the movie that they're pulling for, I believe. And if it turns out that I'm wrong, I guess I'm wrong. But I don't know, man. I just feel like that's what it's leading to. Like, that, you know, that they're leading for Stu to come back. And, you know, to be in the, you know, in the reveal at the end. Now, the question is, what, you, what do you do? Do you kill him? Or do you keep him alive? And all I gotta say is that you keep him alive straight up you know i mean i don't know what else you could do you don't want to kill him again i mean i i don't see why they would you know go that route if you already had a tv you know 
he faked his own death, like, why would you kill him? You know, again, I think he should, what should happen is that he should, let's just say that there's like a ghost face mask or something like in Scream 6. This is very unlikely that this is going to happen, but this is my idea, okay? Let's just say that he, there's a mask sitting there and you see a hand grab it or something. And then in Scream 7, we find out that Stu, you know, was the one that grabbed the mask. Now, that would be epic. And that's the way I would write it, you know, personally. But um, people don't really think it's true. And that's totally fine. This is just my opinion, you know. And it's no by no means confirmed. But Matthew Lillard has said countless times that he, you know, is available to come back. He's always said that. In all the interviews. And people say well he just tries to joke around. No he's not joking around. I mean if he believes that Stu is still alive. That his character Stu. And he's you know plan He's wanting to come back. Some way. One way or another you know. I mean you got to read between the lines. So. With that being said guys. Like Stu. Is still alive. Alright. Even Matthew Lillard said said it himself. Stu is still alive and he's going to return. <clears throat> Maybe not in 6, but I know in Scream 7. So, if I'm wrong, like I said, I'm wrong. But the only thing that I don't want is cult stuff. And I don't want it to be just for fan service. You know? I don't want his return to be just for fan service, like... You got to make it make sense, too. You know, you got to add the, you know, the pieces together and make it make sense. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys uh, l uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would love to see Stu in Scream 7 uh, as the mastermind of some or some sort. And let me know what you think you would look like. Um, because the way I see it, I think he should be scarred. It's like Matthew Lillard said it. He said that he, you know, that if Stu were to come back, if his character were to come back, he said that he would love to see him, like, scarred. Like, and I agree with that. He should be, because he got, he, he got a TV dropped on his head, and it would kind of, you know, make a lot of sense. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads. With that being said, this is Ghostface Fanatic signing off. Peace.